Stock Exchange. Uh, Debbie, uh, probably a good place to come to you, considering we just ended in part a conversation about regulation and what any sure. regulation may look like for Facebook. What do you think should happen? It seems inevitable. Uh, even Mr. Zuckerberg himself uh, used that word. He called it inevitable. Yeah, I think um, with regulations, the devil's in the details, obviously. Um, you know, it seems inevitable that there will be some form of regulations. We have a template right now um, in Europe with their GDPR regulations. Um, you know, maybe some portion of those get that, that regulation gets, gets um, adopted in the U.S. Um, but I, I, you know, I, I think Congress just has to be careful with, with, you know, the language because, you know, ultimately there are millions of companies that um, rely on Facebook to uh, to reach customers. There are obviously you know multiple billions of users on Facebook as well. Like so, it's a, it's a balancing act to make sure that uh, the user experience is sort of protected, privacy is protected, data is protected, um, and that the regulations aren't so onerous that for all the small companies out there um, that aren't publicly traded, uh, that they too can can sort of um, comply with those regulations uh, without having you know an undue burden in terms of costs and compliance. Um, you know, I think it's very easy to, to point fingers at, at one company, they're the big elephant in the room, but, you know, with any regulation, I, you know, I would just urge Congress to, to think about the broader industry and, and especially all the small businesses out there that, um, you know, could be affected in, 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 a, in a negative way uh, if those regulations are, are unduly burdensome because in a weird way, you know, Facebook with their resources is actually much better positioned um, to deal with regulations than, than the, the vast majority of companies, uh, you know, in the internet sector. Yeah, how do you think investors should think about that topic? Would it change the way you view the company as uh, you are bullish the stock? The stock is yeah, at the no, I, of the day. I, I, you know, I think for investors, um, it, it can be looked at in a couple of different ways, but one is that it is actually a positive catalyst for the company. It'll sort of put to bed um, a lot of the sort of negative press, but, but also potentially give Facebook um, a competitive advantage over smaller companies uh, in terms of compliance. Um, there's, there's a certain economy of scale that you need to have as a business in order to meet you know, all the needs of, uh, of your, your typical congressional legislation. And I think um, you look at the banking industry, you look at sort of how um, you know, Dodd-Frank has affected uh, uh, large banks versus smaller banks, and you know you could easily see the uh, you know the the problems that it's caused for a lot of the regional banks versus the J.P. Morgan's of the world and, and, and some of the bigger banks. And you know I don't think we want to we want to put the internet sector as a whole, which includes countless startups, um, you know under the same uh, you know the same sort of uh, you know pressure or 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 or, or, uh, or cost burden as as a Google or a Facebook. Um, so no, I think for investors, uh, it, it can very easily be seen as a positive, not a negative. Yeah. Divya, it's been great having you again. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for your patience as well. Divya Narendra, again, is the CEO, co-founder of SumZero. Uh, we're going to take you back to the hearing room in just a moment. I do want to go to Michelle Caruso Cabrera, though, who has a news alert for us as oil prices are moving.